Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here. So, what you do with your old smartphone when you get a new one? Well, mine is just sitting in the drawer from few years. So, today I'm going to show you a very cool trick that will turn your old smartphone into a night vision camera. And the great part about this DIY, you doesn't need and well, you just need a screwdriver set. Oh, screwdriver is missing here. Now, few tips before you start: use a fixed focus camera. Don't use high-end cameras like this one, which has optical image stabilization or autofocus. These cameras are ha they are somewhat harder to hack. So let's do this more. And before we do that, uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and see you in the next. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's roll the intro. Well, that didn't work. Okay guys, at this point I want to stop and clear out one point. The guts of this mod is to remove the infrared filter. Infrared filter might be located in either the camera sensor itself or it can be located in the camera's lens assembly. But no matter what, we have to remove the infrared filter. In this case, my filter is located in the camera's sensor assembly itself. Okay, so now we need to open the metal cage. Just pull it with nail and we have access to our sensor now now if your sensor looks like this you can actually remove the lens assembly the top black die right here so you just pry it by putting a small screwdriver bit pry it at each hole and just like this you can remove your image sensor completely here you go so this is your image sensor now this is the most delicate part so please be careful right here please don't use any kind of a sharp tools cause that can damage your image sensor I already scratched up one sensor so <laughs> you can trust me on that but luckily I have a replacement sensor so let's continue to the mod this is our complete image sensor including the lens this circle part in the middle is our lens so you can remove that by just twisting it so here is what it looks like after you rotate the lens and remove it so it's pretty small but here you can see this is this is our lens and sometimes there is a reddish looking IR filter inside but in this particular unit this particular type of camera we have a IR filter inside this black die so here you can see the red infrared filter this black die sits over the image sensor actually I accidentally scratched the chip uh, while removing this black die a good lesson learned don't open up your image sensor with the sharp tool like this now luckily I have another phone I'm going to use his sensor the circle part you are seeing is the lens and the bottom part is the chip which captures your image this is also known as a CMOS sensor. There are two options right here. Your infrared filter is inside the lens unit which is the circle part or it's inside this uh, square image sensor. In my case I'm pretty sure it's inside this square image sensor part. So I have to open up this bottom chip and I'm going to do that by my nails. I'm not going to use any, any kind of tools and here we go. This is our image sensor like a new one look how tiny this image sensor is wow i mean this small little image sensor captures your whole 1080p image and there you go you can see this is our infrared filter we just need to remove that so take your screwdriver bit and push it like this so you need to remove every piece of a glass from here 
and after you remove the infrared filter you can install the camera as it was before install the lens then install the image sensor and remember the direction of the pins and the module so i took a picture before opening it up okay guys so let's install our sensor as it was before so please note the orientations and install it so here it is so let's turn on our phone and see how that mod looks like we are able to see the image but it's out of focus and it's all blurry so we need to fix the focus of the lens and you can do that by rotating the lens in this direction okay guys so now i have focused the camera lens to the infinity and you can see it looks much better now and just i was checking out uh, i found this now there is a proximity led which is flashing you can't see that by normal eye okay so half of the mod is done to make it a night vision camera you need to build a night vision infrared illuminator and let me show you how you do that okay guys so you'll need following things to build our night vision infrared illuminator first you'll need a usb cable alternately you can also power this illuminator using some double a or triple a batteries as an infrared light source i'm going to use this 3 watt infrared led these are very high powered ones and since they generate a lot of heat so you will also need this heat sink also this led works on very weird voltage they work on two volts so that's why we need this step down dc to dc converter they will convert usb 5 volts into two volts so let's get onto the bench and let's do this so first connect this 5 volts terminal to the input positive or negative remember the polarities are correct okay so we have soldered the terminals at the input okay so now let's plug in the usb cable into a power bank or any usb source let's set the voltage by this potentiometer right here now you can see i have set it the output voltage to 2 volts now let's connect the led to the output now let's attach a heat sink to our led now i'm going to attach a piece of a tape on the back side of a circuit to prevent any short circuit our wire can just slip in one of the pins of the heat sink now you can add as much leds as you want that will increase the coverage more the leds you add more further you can see okay guys so i added two leds and here is our infrared illuminator is ready okay guys so i'm testing this camera and uh, here is my setup top onto the front you can see infrared leds and i'm going to just turn on the camera and <laughs> hopefully we can see in the night so let's see here you can see there is a straight light but i'm going to go in a a really dark uh, area right now so let's start recording here as well okay so now we can see it by the way you can compare uh, now I'm recording through my DSLR so how much better is the vision you can see in the DSLR you can't almost see any detail there is a car wheel and let's go further okay <laughs> the scariest part of night is <laughs> you you get to hear all of noises and you can see man it's really clear <laughs> in fact i'm not able to see with my eyes as well but i can see through our night vision camera see this is my dslr's vision and this is infrared night vision camera wow i mean i can almost see like a superhuman wow now just to see what's the role of infrared led i'm going to turn it off and here you can see now our infrared camera can't able to see in the dark so infrared illuminators are necessary so let's go some distance oh man. <laughs> what's that whoa <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Oh man, this is really shit scary. But I can see in the dark. Oh. Oh. Okay guys, so I have to run out of this area. <laughs> oh. The indoor performance is extremely good 
because there are walls inside the home you can see it makes out the details really well sneak peek to my gadgets <laughs> my monitors <laughs> it's pitch darkness here but night vision camera can see it <laughs>